finally got my plate all centered up within the transmission talk about being concentric have to get the needle up from this side first and then begin right there that's zero still I'm just gonna go around one full turn the highest is like 11 and it will be back to zero this is to verify that it is through center centers to center it's almost six and a half and two lines there six two lines and from here to here is also six and two lines there yeah yeah I got it all centered So I secured the plate with the clamp and I have this center punch put some tape on it that way it's not gonna be too sloppy and I'm going to just hit it with a hammer so it will be three places this one that one right there well this one I still have to put some uh, material right here but no biggie once everything is all secured with these two bolts right here everything will fall in place that's all I need Well, this one I can't do nothing, but it'll be two places. There's another one here, but I think this will be covered by the block. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to draw a hole in it. Cut this off. Yeah, I think I got everything all set up. I made a pre-run on a piece of wood and it worked as fine and hopefully it will do the same thing on aluminum and the plan is from here all the way through here I thought about going all the way up to here but I'm gonna end up no space for the uh, slave cylinder bolts right here and I have decided to just right up to here okay I'm using a blade for aluminum hopefully it will cut like butter <laughs> all right I guess I can commence
Now I'm going to check the inside if it goes through. If not, I'll just do it by hand. This one didn't, but this one is okay. I need to adjust it though. Well, here it is. Give it a try. I apologize for not filming a lot of this and <laughs> this is what's left on the plate and this is how it's supposed to go like that I didn't did a good job on cutting a piece up from here when I tried it on a piece of wood it was perfect but then when I did this one, I went a little bit too much, but that's no biggie. I can always uh, get a shim, an aluminum sheets, and put it on like so. But uh, as you can see, I still have some more things to work on. This one is a little bit high, but this one here, it's perfect. Yeah, I'll just put some shim over it. I thought about welding this piece. But uh, I want to secure this plate right here. This one right there. Yeah. See, if I weld this, I won't be able to secure this plate onto the block. So I need that one hole right there. So there's three that's holding that plate. As you can see, there's bolt here. One, two. And then three right here. You guys seen that plateless one where they have to uh, drill a hole all the way through the block. By using this plate, I don't have to do that. It'll be right here. It's secured right here. There's three bolts that is fully secured. And this plate is also secured with three bolts. I thought about extending it all the way here. But the problem is this one right here. I'm losing this one. And as you can see, 
the cut is just right on it so there will be not enough material to thread in the bolt that's why I didn't go for it but that's okay I will come up with some bracing underneath and right now I'm going to put some inserts this is one half by 13 Yeah, this will be pretty interesting <laughs> build. I think it's much better to have an insert on here rather than uh, creating a thread on aluminum. This way this thing can take some beating. Two bolts are good. So I need to uh, weld the piece right here. Here is the raw product. I think I got it pretty good. It's all flat right here. So as this side. And this side right here, I welded some material right there. And I'm getting ready to uh, put some uh, dimple on there. On this side here, I have to uh, put some, uh, weld some material. Cause uh, I cut it uneven. But right here is good. It's all flat. My uh, punch, center punch, is a little bit too loose. So in order for me to get it really centered, I just put some uh, or wrap some uh, tape over it. And right there. So I'm getting ready to uh, put some dimple on there. Let me get set up. All I need is just a little, right there. And I'll be doing the same thing. Drill it, put some helicoil on there, and I'm good to go. Huh. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Something new, something different. Yeah. I think this is uh, my way of doing this is for me i think it's a little bit better than putting some bracing onto here we shall see and this one here i was able to use the dowel pin on the block right here that is all for today and i'm gonna take a break for now see you guys later so I'm about to uh, drill some holes and make some uh, thread and insert a helicoil. Doing it this way, I can be sure that it's gonna be uh, straight.
and finish it up by hand. Right. Next is install the uh, helicoil. Good to go.